I should have seen this coming because I know you've asked everybody else this, but I didn't think about this. Um, So what drew me to chemistry, originally back in, I think, eighth grade when I first learned what molecules were, I was really amazed that every single thing around us was made up of the smallest possible particles, all arranged in a really specific order. And that fascination with the building blocks of life drew me eventually into a love of learning how and why molecules behave, and then more specifically, how they react and how to characterize them. When I was teaching undergraduates, one of the most important things that I did in my day-to-day -day as a teacher was teaching concepts and techniques that were very familiar to me, but were very new to that student. And I think that that directly compares to what I do here, being able to provide that chemistry expertise to really help and support the engineers at SGH. Um, an engineer comes to me with a question or a problem that they're seeing in the field, I can use my chemistry expertise to know which chemistry chemistry questions to ask in order to find the right technique to solve the problem or find the answer that ultimately we're looking for. I love doing academic research and specifically I was making characterizing molecules that didn't exist before and that was a lot of fun, but what it lacked for me was a sort of real world application. Consulting is that perfect bridge. Everything that I do has a direct impact on somebody. I know that our Applied Science and Research Center and the internal studies that we're able to do coming out of this lab are what sets SGH apart. And so I'm really proud to be a part of this team and be able to um, sort of move us forward on that chemistry front. Three words that I would use to describe the Applied Science and Research Center are engaging. I think that we engage really deeply with every single project that comes through the lab in ways to come up with new testing or new ways to get those answers. Uh, second term I would use is creativity. I think that every time I'm given a problem or a question, I'm given that full breadth of what we have in the lab to use my own creativity to come up with those solutions. And as a third, you know, I'm still just getting started here, so I think that for me it's been really exciting. 